Holy cow. Welcome to Donnie's Hangout Adventures. And this is my second YouTube video of the day, which is actually rare. And no, I'm not going to talk about the hovering bat. That was really too long. That was like 22 minutes. And so, well, you know, I'm doing something totally different. It has to do with WWE. Okay, I don't watch much of the current product with WWE. But one of my friends on Facebook asked if I heard of Liv Morgan. I'm like, no, somewhat. I've heard of her a little bit, but not a lot. And so I looked up and she was arrested for for marijuana. She was like in Florida. You know, these policies of WWE are so, so outdated. And their wellness program that if you are trying, okay, if you get busted for marijuana or in Randy Orton's case, there or Randy Orton, I think our troops case, there was a stooge that saw him smoking marijuana, so they get busted for it. They get a 60-day suspension usually. I know, that makes no sense. It makes no sense. You're just smoking marijuana. You're not really hurting anything of and of itself. And the wellness program for WWE, which was put into place, trying to think if it was after the murder double suicide of Chris Benoit, if it was Eddie Guerrero, but it seems like it was after Chris Benoit. That's what it seems like to me. I, 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 I think it was. It was put into place after that. And so, it might even be before that. Maybe the steroid trials when they put these in effect. I can't really remember the timeline of this. I have to re-research it and all that. So, they, they have this wellness program. Supposedly, they have random drug testing. I don't see how it's random when, when they pick the big-name superstars and they test them. And then they don't test anybody else. So I don't see how it's really random. But the marijuana one, hardly anybody is getting suspended nowadays for steroids. Which is funny to me when I've seen Randy Orton come back and there was AJ Styles came back for a while. John Cena came back and they're all looking buffed. They're looking really buffed. I almost think that they're using using steroids. And where am I? Where was I with this? Oh, that's right. The wellness program, which is the marijuana one. It's really, really dumb. Um, and you only... It seems like most of the time they're getting busted for the, this in non-states where the marijuana is iffy. Because I think in Florida, it's, um, I think it's more medical there. I think. I may not be exactly right on that. I think Florida is more medical. I think it's not for medicinal purposes there. I think. I'm not exactly sure. I'm not exactly certain on that one. But anyway. So, for years, this marijuana one has been... I, I think there's a loophole in the WWE's policy that I've noticed that when they go to states like Nevada, Arizona, you know, states like that, I've noticed when they go to states where it's completely legal there, I've noticed that, that they can't really arrest anybody for marijuana, especially in WWE. Because you got to remember, WWE goes to all 50 states. And the capital too. So they go to all 50 states. And so. And there's some states it's medical. Some states it's you know recreational. Some states it's completely all, all around the board. So I know that some states. You know you hear about it. You, you, you know they go there. But they're not going to get arrested for it. And then there's other states you know. They're probably going to get arrested for it. And unfortunately Liv Morgan is probably going to get suspended. She's probably going to get suspended. <laughs> For 60 days, it depends if this is her first offense. Because in cases like Randy Orton, who tends to be more careful with it, it seems like 
these days because Randy Orton is, um, well, he is a pot smoker. And so he's been suspended a couple times for smoking marijuana. Six, it's like 60 days and even 90 days. Even Rob Van Dam, Rob Van Dam was suspended for this for once. Can you believe that? Yes. Rob Van Dam, who clearly has marijuana in his system 24-7, was actually suspended once for a random drug test because there was marijuana in his system. I know. It's really stupid. But anyway, or was he busted in a traffic light? I think it was actually a traffic light. I can't exactly remember. It's been so many years ago. It was like when ECW was still in existence, you know, the relaunch of ECW. Here's my point with this. Here's my point with this. I know it's never going to happen because the government clearly don't want to do that. I think it's time that we legalize marijuana across the board. Come on. It's a plant. That's all it is. It's a freaking plant. It's not going to really, you know, you're not really hurting anything. The only thing that, that really hurts Liv Morgan in this case is she was driving. But I don't think she was driving while on marijuana. She just had some in her back seat or in the trunk. I can't remember which it was. So I, I think that might hurt her case. I don't think she was smoking marijuana when she was driving because the bond, which is actually pretty low, was only like $3,000. That's what her bond was set at. So she's probably already out of jail because the bond was so freaking low. I mean, that's really low, like $3,000. And as much as wrestlers make, it's a drop in the bucket for them. But I think it is time that they legalize marijuana fully across the board because this is getting stupid. It's getting stupid with wrestlers. Wrestlers are the ones that get arrested more for this than any other. I don't want to call it a job. But, or a career, I should put it. We'll call it a career. And they're the ones that get arrested a lot. And they're always getting suspended a lot. I mean, there's our truth there's Evan Bourne, there's Randy Orton. There's, you know, there, there, there's so many of them. Rob Van Dam, now Liv Morgan. It just, they, they get suspended a lot. And then she's going to be suspended for at least 60 days at least 60 days and this is the problem with the wellness pro the wellness policy in wwe because there's a serious loophole in this a serious serious loophole here's the thing i don't understand you do not hear of this of, of an actor an actor could you imagine an actor getting busted for marijuana and then they suspend them from acting for 60 days you do not hear this ever in acting. You rarely hear it in an NBA or in Major League Baseball or NFL. But man, you hear it all the time in, in wrestling. Maybe they just want to wind down. You know, I mean, being a wrestler ain't the easiest thing to do in the world. Maybe they just want to wind down from having a tough road trip or whatever. Maybe they just want to wind down and, you know, be able to relax a little bit. It's no big deal. It's really really not and all these times all and when, and when it happens i really don't comment on it because it happens a lot in wrestling a lot they're always getting busted for marijuana and i'm like it's just a joint it's no big deal and i can't remember the last time that a wrestler was suspended for steroids when clearly clearly there's a lot of wrestlers that look too bulked up. Scott Steiner was never suspended, not once. Scott Steiner was never suspended, not once, for steroids. Never. And it's just, it's just, I think it's, I think it's rampant. I think it's rampant with marijuana. And they, they, and she will be suspended. No question about it. And here's the, here's the funny part. Here's the wellness policy. Oh, there. If you get caught three times, let's say you, you get you get you get busted once for marijuana, then the second time 
and then a third time, and after a third time, WWE can actually fire you. I know, that's the weird thing about it. Is Randy Orton's been caught with the marijuana twice. Yeah, twice. And I've, all, I've been waiting for that third time he gets busted because it could happen. It very well could happen when it's no big deal. When it's no big deal. That's the reason Rob Van Dam is, was, has been in and out of WWE for so many, so many times. Because he kept, he just didn't know how to, you know, deal with this stuff because that's what he, that's what he did. And I'm, and, and, and he only got suspended once. Which I'm really surprised at. I'm really surprised at that. But what? You got anything else you want to add? No. Yeah, you go ahead and have a joint. You go ahead and do that, just a cow. You go ahead and do that. You know what? That's all, folks.